morning friends and welcome back to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how i make these amazing flour tortillas my husband absolutely loves these they remind him of his grandma so these are perfectly soft they fold up and then you can open them back up again these are amazing easy to make flour tortillas only four ingredients so let's get started all right friends so for these flour tortillas all you need is some flour, lard, salt, and water. That's it, and we're gonna make those amazing, fluffy, delicious flour tortillas. All right, first step is we're gonna go ahead and make our dough. We're gonna be putting three cups of all-purpose flour into a separate container. Now to your three cups of all-purpose flour, you're gonna add three tablespoons of lard. Go ahead and add in some salt. Now you're gonna mix with your fingers. You wanna mix all the lard into the flour and it's gonna make like a sand texture. This process just takes a few minutes. All right, so you see we've got like a sand type texture here. All of your lard has gotten worked into your flour. Now I've got some warm water and this is where you're just going to have to play with it. I'm just going to add a little bit of water first and mix it around. You don't want it too soft, you don't want it too moist, and you don't want it too dry. All right. Now it's ready to come out of there, out of the bowl, and now we're gonna start kneading. This process could take up to five minutes, and you just want to keep moving. This feels like Play-Doh to me. That's the texture that I'm getting from here, is like a Play-Doh texture which is what you want. It's not sticking to my hands. And it's very soft and pliable. And there we got our nice little dough ball. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back into our container. But first, I'm gonna get a little bit of the lard and just put it around that. Put it inside your bowl and we're going to put some plastic wrap over it and a towel and then put it in a nice warm spot. I'm going to put this on my stove underneath the light. Alright friends, so we're going to go ahead and let it rest there for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can let it go longer. The longer it rests, the softer it is. So go ahead and let it rest. Clean up your table, do whatever else you have to do, and then we'll come back and start rolling out our balls. All right, friends, so our dough has rested now for 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start rolling out the balls. And for this, it's just your preference on how big you want your tortillas. This is about the size ball that I'm going to do, and then I just make a nice little ball out of it, roll it up. And then set it off on a separate plate. That's going to rest again for another 30 minutes or however long you want to let it rest. But just keep making my balls and keep putting them onto the plate off to the side. All right, friends, so I'm all done rolling out all of our tortilla balls. So I went ahead and got some more of the lard and we are just going to pat the top of each of these balls with the lard. We're going to take the plastic wrap, put it over the plate with all of your tortilla balls, put your towel on top of that, and we're going to let it rest again for another 20 to 30 minutes. All right, friends, so our tortilla balls have rested long enough. Now it's now it is time to start rolling them out. 
I have my rolling pin and I've got some flour that we're going to use to help roll out these tortillas. So all you're going to need is just a little bit of flour and then we're going to take our dough balls and we are going to pat them into the flour on both sides. Make sure they are completely coated with the flour and then we're going to lightly flatten it out and then using upward motions only we're going to start rolling up twist it and roll up twist it and roll up and we're going to keep doing that until our tortilla is almost translucent and just keep rolling until you get a nice round tortilla that is nice and thin and at this point I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my pan get it nice and hot you want to make sure your pan is not too hot but not too cold because when you put the tortilla on there you want to start bubbling up so you don't want it too hot so let me go ahead and turn it on and get it ready for the tortillas I'd say it's about a medium high heat and we're going to go ahead and put that one off to the side and keep going with our tortillas until we have three and then we'll go ahead and start cooking them. All right, friends. So now we're going to go ahead and put our tortillas down and we're going to let them go until you see them starting to bubble around the tops. All right. Now that we see that it's all bubbled right here, we're going to go ahead and flip it over and it's going to fully puff up. Now that it's nice and puffy, we're going to go ahead and remove it from the heat. And we're going to put it in our tortilla warmer. And just keep repeating the process with all your tortillas. And the time that it takes me to put one down, I can roll out the next one. Just get a nice little rhythm going with your tortillas. And then also keeping an eye on the ones that are on the stove. All right, friends, so we are all done. And here we have 19 amazingly soft, delicious flour tortillas. That's what you're looking for. One that you can fold up and it comes right back. They're not hard, they're perfectly soft and ready to eat. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this easy recipe. Give it a try. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.